Facebook might not be able to do right now. So sorry. So the settings has to be changed. Uh, sir, I am extremely sorry. We are not able to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right. Okay. So we can sir, start. Sir, you are mute, sir. हमारे भी आप जो भी आएंगे ना उनको सब ओके सो वॉट एवर यू गेट दीपल टू ज्वाइन यू प्लीज ज्वाइन एवरीबडी एडमिट एवरीबडी सो आई थिंक यू शो स्टार्ट नाउ एंड आई एम सो आई विल शेयर द स्क्रीन आफ्टर सम टाइम आई होप आई बी एबल टू डू इट सो दिस इज गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबडी एंड गुड आफ्टरनून मे बी सम इंटरनेशनल पीपल फ्रॉम द यूरोप मे बी ज्वाइनिंग और फ्रॉम the african country which i've sent the link here i am professor dr vivek gupta i am senior cardiologist in apollo hospital new delhi and i'm thankful to sharda university in fact i spoke to our chairman also mr pk gupta to join maybe he is joining up a little while so i'm thankful to radhika ji to coordinate for such a important webinar which i am going to do and talk about the covid 19 we all are suffering for last uh, almost 6 months now and the problem is that this virus is a new virus and the whole world is including who america the whole of europe started from china in december and still there is no major uh, i would say uh, any medicine which will work completely or the vaccine will take a long time so i'll go and discuss with this now i'll start sharing my slides so i hope you are able to see the slides and uh, but uh, i will go to the first slide first so uh, covid 19 so can you see the slides now yes sir so it is can you see everything now it's very clear yes sir okay so i start my lecture covid 19 or corona virus disease 19 is a one of the strain of sars covid 2 and this is a uh, lecture with the help of icr which is our organization indo european course on revascularization and in collaboration with the dental department of sharda university sharda university is very close to us and if, and we have been friends with your chairman who started hindustan earlier and then both yk gupta and dr mr pk gupta so uh, the overall situation is like this we are now in may and the, as per the perspective global perspective there are more than 46 lakh patients worldwide and more than 3 lakhs death This is the most important uh, pandemic. Uh, I would like to tell that all the students there is difference between endemic and pandemic. Pandemic means that any disease which is extraordinarily increased in numbers and that is all over the world. That means several countries are involved. Then this is not a pandemic and this is normally declared by WHO. Endemic means any disease which starts in one country or in one localized region. and that is uh, that is beyond expectation it goes beyond expectation the rise in the number of disease people affected and that is endemic that is one area is affected when it is the whole world or many countries it is pandemic so as of you now you can see usko unmute kar dijiye apna jara as you can see that indian perspective is like this 86000 patients are affected as of now this is the figure taken today just now from who side and more than 2760 deaths more than 2760 deaths as of today america is the worst affected the most important the super power you know mr donald trump came to india on 24th of february which was my birthday so i was on television i remember the date very well at that time although november 19 the first case of covid 19 december actually 19 the first case of covid 19 was discovered at that time in china but even by the end of february it was not very seriously taken by anybody including india and america and there was no lockdown at that time and nobody thought in fact who had had actually in march only this declared that this is a pandemic and that time endemic and therefore the things were so not 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 so difficult looking not so difficult at that time as of now more than 11 lakh patients are infected and more than 58000 death which is about one more than half of the overall almost touching one third of the death overall globally 3 lakhs and out of that 88000 only in america it has a huge economic burden other than the, of course the toll which has taken up and you must be remembering that 2 lakh crore package which is one tenth of our overall gdp has been declared 
by Honorable Prime Minister only three days back. So this is overall package which has gone in the higher government spending, lower taxes, rock bottom interest rates may keep people afloat in the short term. But do not stimulate productive activity when people cannot work because of lockdown. We are not talking of the whole world, we are talking of the whole world, not India only. Nor will supplementing the incomes of newly unemployed necessarily shore up consumption when most shops are closed and delivery services are unable to beat exploding demand. Coming on to the, our cardiology part, this was actually the, the day, day before, this was the angioplasty done by me only day before yesterday. We all are healthcare workers and you can see that PPE kit which we are using while doing the heart patients because we cannot stop taking emergency. Just now we have admitted a patient of acute MI who was in the hospital and we will be doing the COVID test and then take up for the angiography and angioplasty. This is a very technical demanding thing because this virus is so much contagious that anybody gets infected and one virus can infect more than 400 people. So once you have a COVID-19 positive patient in any OT, you have to quarantine not only the staff but you have to fumigate the OT and it disturb the whole scenario. So as of now, our hospital is a very clear cut guidelines that Unless the patient has been proved to be COVID negative, we will not take in the cath lab. And this becomes a problem, especially for emergency operations, especially for the emergency bypass surgery or our cardiac catheterization. In acute heart attack, you require to do angioplasty as early as possible. But now the hospital policy is very clear. We have a two sets of we have a two sets of ICU. One set is ICU where we kept a suspect COVID. That means unless proved otherwise, everybody is suspect. This is a a little, little difficult situation. Every patient is a suspect of COVID unless proved otherwise a test. And test takes at least 8 hours to 12 hours for the test to be delivered. I'll let you know. So this is how we do it. And this is angioplasty as you can see the stent after, before angioplasty there is a major blockage. And after angioplasty the stent, the things are clear. So what is the virus disease? Coming back to the disease agent. So we have this virus which is affecting the whole world. It is a very small virus, is a, uh, it goes into the cell. I will just tell you briefly about it. This is SARS-CoV-2 virus entry and replication. Then there is an antigen presentation inside the cell and there is a cellular and humoral immunity. I think most of the audience are also medical students, so they will understand the cellular and humoral immunity, which helps the patient to get rid of the virus. But this virus is more dangerous. The body own immunity is not enough to kill the virus. Otherwise, when you see of virus disease, we have been talking about virus disease, khansi, jukam, bukhar, for several decades. Koi baat ni virus disease hai, don't worry, it will go off on its own. It will not go off on its own because there is an immunity system inside the body and the, our own our antigen, anti, because of antigen, there is an antibody which are produced inside the body and the patient gets well because its own system which works like an antibiotic they kill the virus and finish off the virus. Unfortunately, this virus is not being killed by its or by the own antibody, at least in 20% patients. That is why, although 80% patient they recover because of the body immunity, but 20% will go into serious conditions requiring oxygen and few will go on ventilator and few will die. There is no immediately, there is no major drug as of now. So let him coming back to the virus. Coronavirus S protein has been reported as significant determinant of virus entry into the host cells. After the virus enters the cell, the viral RNA genome is released into the cytoplasm of the cell and is translated to two polyprotein and structural proteins after which the viral genome begins to replicate. Antigen presentation, the coronavirus infection. While the virus enters the cell, its antigen will be presented to the antigen presenting cells, which is central part of body's antiviral immunity. And of course, we all know that there are two types of antigen antibodies, and the SARS specific IgM antibody disappear at the end of week 12, while the IgG antibody can last for a longer time which indicates that IgG antibody may mainly play a protective role and the SARS-specific IgG antibodies primarily are S-specific and N-specific antibodies. Comparing to the humoral response, there are more researches on cellular immunity. What is cytokine storm? What is cytokine storm? 
the cytokine storm in Lancet it shows that ARDS is the main cause of death of COVID-19. One of the important main mechanisms for ARDS is the cytokine storm. You must have been reading cytokine storm. The cytokine storm will trigger a violent attack by the immune system to the body which causes acute respiratory distress syndrome and multiple organ failure. This is the last part of the system and the patient will die irrespective of ventilator, irrespective of any, any, any agent, antiviral agents. And once this set in, cytokine storm, then the patient's life is in danger and we, have lo we are losing life every day all over the world, not only in Apollo Hospital but all over the world because as of now, neither there is a vaccine nor there is a specific drug which can kill the virus as of today. That's a very important thing because this virus is killing about 5% mortality in general and more than 15% mortality if the patient is more than 80 years old. I will let you know further. Diagnosis is made mainly by the, the PRC test, which is PCR test. But of course, we have to see the clinical symptoms and signs. Infected with SARS-CoV-2 and which are highly atypical. They are not typical. But they include cough, fever and dyspnea. These are three important cardinal symptoms of COVID-19, which is very much mimicking any Khansi Jukam Bukhar. But of course, one thing is clear. So the cough is normally non-productive cough. That means there is no sputum. This is a clinical symptom by which one will, one will feel the patient may have COVID-19. Then of course you have to do the testing. And as of now the testing which is nucleic acid detection technology which is RTQPCR test. This is done in virus blood culture but mostly we are doing as of now from the respiratory secretions. That means secretions coming out of the body which we can also do from the blood but that becomes more technically demanding. So RT-PCR test is one done by the respiratory secretions and we are doing this test and this is the most important test we are doing. As of now, India testing is not at par with what Europe and America is testing. I will let you know why later on. Radiological diagnosis COVID-2 is basically CT scan. CT scan is a clear cut ground glass appearance, ground glass appearance of the CT. And sometimes this is more important because many times we have seen that the patient is actually suffering from COVID-19, but the RT-PCR test is negative. This is, this is not so uncommon, not very common, but you must have realized that many patients are COVID-19 negative today and they can become positive tomorrow by this test. That is why there is always a requirement of doing a CT chest, HRCT, to be, for example, a patient who has tested negative and still his symptoms are clear-cut fever and there's a travel history, you should do CT scan to be sure that and then repeat this test. So what are the testing available to us? We have two types of tests, which is PCR test, which is nucleic acid detection. This is the most false, most foolproof, although there is false negative here also. And then there's the antibody test. So PCR test as such is very important, but the number of people being tested in India is not as great as this because earlier the test kit was not available. Later on, although the kit was available, it was expensive. Later on, it was realized that only, only it was government setup which was doing the testing. Then, of course, few private setups were also involved. But today, the figure is like this. 1,500 tests per million. We are doing testing about 1,500 per million in India while America is doing approximately 20,000 per million, Germany was doing 25,000, France is doing about 10 to 15,000. So everybody is much more testing. And that is why we are fearing that maybe we are doing less testing because of our number of population, number of less labs. We may be having still not the third phase, still may not have come. So still the number of figures in India per day, about three to 4,000 new cases are being discovered and this is when we are not doing testing as much as what America... America initially was doing only 5,000 per test. Mr. Donald Trump had increased the testing to about 25,000 per million. But Germany was the best. They tested initially from the beginning. They were about 25,000 million. Antibody test. We have This is antibody test. It's a test which is not 100% foolproof. This will tell the patient is infected. But whether he will go... Whether he has come in contact with this 
but this is also good for the screening of the patient NIV National Institute of Virology Pune has developed the India first covid-19 antibody kit testing kit you must have read in the newspapers the recently the icmr had returned the testing kit which came from china and they were found to be fallacious because they were showing only 10% um, uh, that means pcr test positive and antibody test was negative and the test was well, that, that test kit was faulty but now india has also developed this so niti ayog to make india covid testing superpower with private help this is the planning and the india was trying to plan 1.25 lakh rt pcr test a day but considering that we have a huge majority our population is 137 crore which is almost that means every third person in the world is indian and every second person in the world is either indian or chinese considering the population wise so we are still lagging behind but we are doing our best our niti ayog ministry of health well family welfare honorable prime minister they all doing well to try to do more number of testing so that we can diagnose them early and treat them early quarantine them early and that is the way we can we should tackle this virus as much as possible why this virus is again i am repeating it because as of today there is not even a single specific medicine which can kill the virus there is not even a single specific medicine which can kill the virus and we have to be very very sure how to do it so we have to be i'll just go a little i am i have to stop sharing for a second and then come back to sharing for just for a second so can you see the slides again yes sir can you see the slides again Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, there is a system of Zoom sharing, a Zoom recording. So please put on the Zoom recording. It's very simple. So that we are doing. That's okay. That okay. You can share slide. So coming yes. back to my slides, how the medicines work. This is the system which is showing the SARS-CoV-2 virus is entering the cells and then it's replicating and polypeptide and non-structural proteins, RNA-dependent polymerase is found, and this is hydroxychloroquine is found to be working at this level. while the antiviral medicines remdesivir which is considered to be very important is working at the level of rna dependent this is how the various medicines are working hydroxychloroquine i would like to point out this is a very controversial medicine as of today and very simple to use but i would like to tell you that every day you are hearing various types of reports coming from various departments from various countries today hydroxychloroquine is found to be useful to the or tomorrow it is not found to be useful let me tell you that this is a french perspective and then i will tell you chinese perspective and then i will tell you the american perspective hydroxychloroquine is a medicine it is actually a medicine being utilized for the autoimmune disorder like rheumatoid arthritis and sle this is a brother of chloroquine chloroquine is being used for malaria everybody knows it chloroquine is used for so there are two types of methods where hydroxychloroquine can be useful one is for prevention and second is for treatment prevention means healthcare workers so guidelines came from indian council of medical research in march that every healthcare worker should take hydroxychloroquine and dosage was not difficult it is only 400 mg twice a day only for one day and all then 400 mg once a week for 7 weeks this was the indian council of medical research guidelines and this was very much utilized but lot of healthcare workers did not take it for two reasons because the media was showing that it is dangerous medicine and secondly they were very busy so i was requesting everybody once if the ecg is normal as a cardiologist why the media was showing otherwise because there were reports coming that hydroxychloroquine is a cardiotoxic medicine let me tell you as a cardiologist it is cardiotoxic in a very specific subgroup of patients who have got a long qt interval and we when you give hydroxychloroquine for a long duration so that why it is a safe medicine uh, coming on to the french perspective february 2020 february 2020 there was a guideline from ddm ruro marse he released a video because he is a virologist yes sir with 500 mg of chloroquine it is in french but i will explain to you clinically positive 
un excellent progrès, c'est probablement l'infection respiratoire la, peur, la plus facile à traiter ici de So actually what he's talking is, and people are laughing that hydroxychloroquine at that time, if you remember in February, Mr. Donald Trump had requested our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji that in the end of February of early March that this hydroxychloroquine should be exported because there was a ban on export at that time because thinking that India will require more. And then because of the, that plea or request, our Honorable Prime Minister had allowed the export of hydroxychloroquine to America. So at that time when Mr. Donald Trump was talking that it is a magic drug, it's a wonder drug, and Mr. D.J. Ronald Marseille was laughing that this cannot be that wonderful because this is cardiotoxic. But the same person had done a study on 1061 patients, very important. Same person did a study of 1061 patient and was posted on April 9. That means two months after his laughing video and this showed that hydroxychloroquine key findings are there is no major cardiac toxicity, a good clinical outcome and only 91% success and only 0.4% death in the serious patients of COVID-19. This was hydroxychloroquine plus azithromycin combination. So this was French perspective changing from February and they said that should be used in all patients azithromycin and hydroxychloroquine. Chinese study was published in February and that time when he was talking Mr. Same person, Mr. Uh, Renault from Marseille, France. Marseille is a small city in France. A lot of people might not be knowing because France is known as Paris with a desert around. A lot of people know though France is almost similar to Paris but there are so many other cities. Marseille is in south of France. So the same professor from Marseille when he was reading the conclusion from Chinese study in February and the Chinese study has shown a 61 patient there was some effect by giving hydroxychloroquine in these patients. So at that time, he laughed it out and later on he said, okay, it's better. The FDA in 28th March, Fed, what is FDA? Federal Drug Administration. It's an American body like DCGA in India. Drug Control Government of India is a parallel to FDA. But FDA is very, very strict. But they have released a guideline that this can be used as emergency medicines. In April 15 also, they said that this can be used in emergency medicine. But after April 15 in May, there is study which is about 200 patients from USA and they have said that there is no major effect in COVID-19. My version would be as a cardiologist when there is no medicine, even FDA says emergency use, especially those patients who are very sick, hydroxychloroquine should always be given in such patients considering that there is evidence from France and considering that there is evidence from China and considering that it is not major cardiotoxic if you give it judicially, especially after taking ECG and taking the renal and hepatic functions in most of the hospitals, especially when there is a no prolonged QT interval, one should always use this hydroxychloroquine. And for healthcare worker, I would say, and I would say that everybody, especially in the hospital like Sharda University, all the healthcare worker, which includes, which includes, which includes doctors, nurses, uh, staff, housekeeping staff, the ward boys, delivery boys, the people who are working in the, in the uh, pharmacy inside the hospital, everybody should take hydroxychloroquine, 400 mg, only twice a day, only for one day, and then I repeat, 400 mg, one should note it down because uh, this is not uh, now available only on prescription. The 400 mg, one day, twice a day, twice a day for only for one day and then four milligram repeat once a week for seven weeks. Why I have taken it myself and I am now requesting all my healthcare worker to take it if the ECG is normal. So what is repurposed medicines? Lot of medicines by ICMR are under investigation. Repurposed medicine means the medicine which is already being used for some other purpose. For example, for leprosy. For example, for other virus disease. They can be tested whether they have any effect in reducing the mortality in this. I would like to point out here my father, Dr. M. L. Gupta, who is also a, a reta he has been working formerly with the Indian Council of Medical Research, has sent a letter to Prime Minister Office and also Ministry of Health and Family Welfare for another repurposed medicine which he feels because he has done a lot of research on, not on COVID-19 but otherwise he has he has a lot of citations still coming up. And one of the medicine which is likely to be used because Indian Council of Medical Research 
has to first of all, and this uh, this this trial can be done only in 14 days. So similarly, there are a lot of medicine like ivermectin. So this is what my father has proposed, uh, but there are other medicines which are also being tested as of now, which do not have major side effect. Ivermectin is an anti-parasite medicine. You must have read in the newspaper, especially in March. It is FDA approved for the anti-parasite agent. It is the only medicine which has been tested in vitro. It has shown a 95% success. More this trial has shown that 5,000 times, I'm showing you the medicine, uh, it, the, by 48 hours, this effect increased to 5,000 fold. 99.8% rejection with this antiviral activity and therefore this human trial is still not there. Although it's not available, it is not approved neither by FDA nor by medical Indian Council of Medical Research. But this is where we need a human trial for this. Remdesivir is one of the antiviral medicine which is being approved recently by FDA for the treatment of choice, still not available in India, I must tell you. It's still not available. And this is one of the important thing, antiviral medicine by infusion previously failed as Ebola treatment, but showed promise against certain coronavirus. And based on that data, FDA issued an emergency use authorization of the drug, despite mixed results from many other smaller disease. When you have nothing to do, you have to do something. When you have no specific medicine, there's no Rambar. Rambar is the Brahmastra. जिससे कि फायदा हो जाए जो आपके पास है ही नहीं कोरोना के लिए तो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट यूजिंग समथिंग व्हिच इज स्टिल अवेलेबल दैट्स व्हाई आई ऑलवेज से हाइड्रोक्सीक्लोरोक्वीन एजिथ्रोमाइसिन एंड रेमडेसिविर थ्री मेडिसिन व्हिच शुड बी यूज्ड कमिंग ऑन टू द फॉर जनरल पब्लिक यूज ऑफ मास्क वी ऑल नो दैट मास्क आई रिमेंबर फेब्रुवारी 24 व्हेन डोनाल्ड ट्रंप वाज देयर द ह्यूज डेलीगेशन केम टू इंडिया एट दैट टाइम नोबडी वाज यूजिंग द मास्क and I tell you that virus came in November and December in China. And later on, it was going everywhere. People felt it is like a simple virus, it's like a flu. Nobody gave that seriousness. The seriousness came only in March when WHO declared this as pandemic. So two types of masks are available. One is surgical mask, another is N95. So N95 mask is to be used by all healthcare workers, by for all public, uh, any, any for other people, for healthcare workers, Three ply mass should be good enough. But let me tell you, the, when, when it was, I would like to show you two videos. One was March 26, when I was speaking, when the pandemic was declared. Can't hear. You can't hear it. Just a minute, let me increase this, uh, the volume. Just a minute. Okay, okay, just a minute. Uh, I can't increase the volume because, okay. Uh, okay, it's not audible at all? Okay. Okay. So, sir, this is the last one. Here you have your computer unmuted. You go under the microphone thing. And under the speaker, then probably you can hear it. Okay, doesn't matter. I will explain what I said. So, it was actually, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, March 26, there was a video which I, that's why I am sharing it. Because at that time, there were no guidelines for the people going out of their home to wear either mask or rumal or angocha. At that time, people laughed at me. I felt that this virus can be airborne. I felt, personally felt it because this is so many people are getting infected. At that time, only healthcare workers were supposed to wear the mask. And the people who are going for the emergency work like uh, people going for mother dairy or buying the vegetables, despite the lockdown, they were going. Lockdown started on March 24, if you recall, by Honorable Prime Minister Nandar Modi ji. So at that time, when I said ki everybody should wear the rumal, then people laughed it out, ki don't create panic. Similarly, on March 29, I told everybody that everybody should wear angocha. This is very clear. Like for March 29, that people were actually, if you remember, Anand Vihar terminal. Lot of people were migrating and there was a huge chaos and lockdown was given a big fuss. So I was on television, I said, please use, every policeman should ask, not the mask, not the rumal, everybody has angocha because people are poor, angocha penne. 
So at that said, that was March 29. Again, people created panic for me, and uh, therefore I said that don't create panic, and I was laughed out. And later on, our honourable Prime Minister used gamcha, and that said that this became that became a guideline. So I was thinking one week beyond whether it was my thought process or it was just like that it came. But I tell you that I was thinking. Well, I said medically, I feel that patients should always use this. And today the guideline is that nobody all over the world that everybody should be using either hanky, rumal. I I use the word rumaling at that time. So people were saying, "Why panic? Don't care panic. It's going to get off." Coming on to the vaccine. Coming on to the vaccine. That I would tell you from the beginning, vaccine will take at least six months to one year. About seventy vaccines are being tested human trial. The first trial, as of now, WHO also says the whole world is saying. But many times on television we say, okay, Israel has started vaccine. Italy has given a vaccine. It will come within next day. So it is not true. Vaccine takes time. The human trial is still on. What Israel has produced is Israel has developed a COVID antibody. That attacks and neutralizes the virus in patient body. This is a treatment, not the vaccine. But if this is true, if they have done it, then they should come to the market soon. But Israel is feeling that they should make it patent before it is coming onto this. So coming onto this is monoclonal antibody. The Italians have also done a breakthrough. Indian scientists claim Italian scientists claim to have developed world's first COVID-19 vaccine. It is not true. Seventy vaccines are being tested. But there is still not even a single human trial complete. Human trial takes long time. Oxford, with the university, has started the trial, and this is actually the first trial was started by Oxford, and they were feeling that by September or October or November they may they may have in the market. But this is not so easy. It will take time, and unless the vaccine is coming, and there was a news item which I have told you, told you for importance. Johnson has warned that in worst case scenario, vaccine may never be found. This is also a truth which have we have to see that we are very hopeful that vaccine should come, but vaccine may not come like HIV. HIV we don't have vaccine as of now. HIV is I think was a simpler disease because that was only sexually transmitted disease. Here it is airborne. So and if it comes back again. So we have to be very, very careful. I think the whole social system will go to change. And in HIV, if you just uh, take the protections and you are not doing uh, sex outside or you are not having a needle prick, it was simple to treat. And now with HIV, we have a treatment also. So we are looking for the repurposed drug to treat. The vaccine may or may not come. Just to give you a few examples, that mRNA vaccine, Novavax, Tetin, lot of vaccine names are there. Which you can see, all are being tested. The human trials few have started, but few have not started. Coming on to the contact tracing, this is the Ayur Arog Satu app, Satu app, which has been studied. And I would say I don't know whether everybody has still downloaded the app or not. This is an important app, which is important to you see what we are doing. We are doing social distancing. We are doing lockdown. We are doing physical distancing of two week, two meters. But contact tracing app is a special app. If you have downloaded this app on your mobile, then if you come in contact with COVID-19 patient, then you will get a red signal that you have come in contact with even 14 days before, and that will be very useful because if you have done 14 days before the contact, then you can quarantine yourself, you can test yourself. This is one step beyond social distancing or antibody testing. But there was some doubt created by the media and otherwise that this contact tracing app is not that will is not completely privacy was an issue. So I am not sure. I cannot answer this question. Then the honourable minister, uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, came on television. They said no, privacy is not an issue with this app, and everybody should use it. So especially for the people and the government job, this has been made made mandatory. But I would personally feel if the privacy is not an issue, one should always download this app. And I have, and have many other people have downloaded this app. This will give a warning to you that you have come in contact with COVID-19 patient and quarantine yourself, take precautions. Maybe you take hydroxychloroquine or test yourself with a PCR test. Plasma therapy. This is a very important and useful therapy. This is only one small. It's not again a Rambar. It's not a Brahmastra. Lot of patient, despite plasma therapy, have died. What is plasma therapy? When you take, when the patient of COVID-19 has recovered. The patient of COVID-19 has recovered. You take out the antibody. 
they take out the inf uh, the plasma from that patient and you infuse this to a sick patient as of now this is investigational by indian council of medical research and it is being tried i have noted and i have come to know that few patient despite plasma therapy have also died so we need to have lot lot of research but this is a very useful tool fda approved and lot of word whole world is using plasma therapy to treat the patient who are very sick herd immunity lot of people are knowing about this and lot of people don't know what is herd immunity herd immunity is something that when the whole big population is infected then the, the immunity will come in the whole population and the, when the people the whole population is infected and few people will die few will survive and those who survive will be immunized by themselves there's something like a vaccine but this is not useful for this particular virus because this virus is not that simple we have a mortality of 10 to 15% therefore stockholm sweden was the first to try herd immunity they did not do a complete lockdown but then they started facing huge deaths lot of people died and then they came back to lockdown because if you have herd immunity it will be very useful but for the virus which is so dangerous which is having a high mortality you cannot depend upon the spontaneous immunity coming in the body because for that purpose the patient will die lot of you will lose lot of lives which is not possible ventilator treatment this is a very important treatment as of all I, I, a lot of people are non medical and a lot of medical people are listening let me tell you the many private hospitals are being blamed all over the world especially in india ki zabardasti ventilator laga diya patient ko ventilator ki zarurat nahi thi pe jahan tak ki sunne ko milta tha public mein ki ventilator ki zarurat nahi thi aur phir bhi laga diya paisa banane ke liye we were really hurt by these things let me clarify now now the world knows that italy has fall short of ventilator america was short of ventilator because ventilator is a life saving machine which helps in giving oxygen to the body when the lungs are collapsed to that extent that they are not working the oxygen is not being transmitted so one should stop now believing ventilator now our prime minister honorable prime minister says that we have enough ventilator for this ventilator is not available in many of the government hospitals even today but covid 19 patients we require ventilator at least in 20% patients 20% patient will require uh, this is my rough guess maybe 10% to 15 which is still a huge number considering that we have a huge morbidity the pe lot of people are infected to ventilator in italy it happened i remember i called one of my doctor friend he said we have three patients who require ventilator we have only one ventilator so we are choosing whom should be given and they are giving to younger patient not to the elderly patient that was situation that means the the developed country like italy and america the doctor had to choose whether they should give ventilator to one patient to this patient or other patient because only one ventilator is there i am talking of example and three patients are requiring it that was the situation healthcare workers all over world have died that is why our honorable prime minister had one day when people clapped at 5 pm if you remember because you see to go to the covid ward even myself would be difficult i can share my 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 uh fear i would be to totally protected myself nobody would like to be infected if some nurse is still coming out and working even with the covid uh, ppe and i would say that this is a big risk they are taking and this is a part of their job and they are doing it so that's why the clapping was there but despite all the precautions many have been infected and many have died worldwide i do not want i do not have figure but i have lost of friends in south and lot of friends cardiologist in italy who i remember i know them and they have succumbed to this big scare of covid 19 despite the treatment i'm telling you role of china lot of people are talking that the virus is chinese virus is a man made virus is a human virus is a world war 3 not going to details but i would like to read out one of the nobel laureate japanese professor his news came that he said that i have done 40 years of research on animals and virus i have been phoning them all i have worked in wuhan and he is 100% confident that this corona virus is not natural virus it is not come from bats it is manufactured in the lab so i am not going to details but of course the dot of investigation especially the donald trump because the maximum mortality is there and he is still feeling that they require investigation but this professor later on retrieved his own apple 28 he said he is a nobel laureate 
actually he said he never said like this so there are a lot of fake news i'm not going to details but we have to really think that this china is still having limited number of deaths or they are not telling us so whether it is boomerang whether it is actually human made we don't know i'm not going to details but the we have to be very very careful sometime we feel that we have to live with with virus covid and heart this is a very important subject because i am a cardiologist i will not bore you with more number of slides because already long slide but i would like to tell you that covid is not only causing lung disease but it is causing acute heart attack also there is a system that is causes prothrombosis it is prothrombotic that is why we have we are learning every day initially till february and march people never thought that this can cause but they already thought that this is causing myocarditis but now we have confirmed <coughs> we are fully confirmed that covid causes prothrombosis and that is why you can have coronary artery infarction that means acute myocardial infarction because of corona virus and unfortunately we i was talking i we are doing webinar with america with the indo with through the our indo european course so we are doing webinars with various various and and now we have to do clexin low molecular weight heparin but the tragedy is this that when the patient of covid 19 it is contraindicated to take it to the cath lab if you have a heart attack in a covid 19 patients it becomes such a difficult situation because it has been shown that if the patient of covid 19 positive goes in the cath lab or operation theater you have to fully quarantine fully fumigate because the virus can go into the air conditioning tubes and the virus how can you actually remove the virus then the second operation will not be possible so i was talking to french cardiologist also to italian cardiologist what is the protocol in america they said only acute heart attack with cardiogenic shock they would like to do angiography and angioplasty which is a life saving otherwise they would like to thrombolize this patient with streptokinase so what is going on the thing is that covid patient if he gets a heart attack he will not get the best treatment because the hospital or the doctors this is a paradox you see nobody would like to close the close the operation theater for at least 3 days so now the protocol is if the covid patient is having mi do thrombolysis which is streptokinase and once the covid becomes negative after few days or one or two weeks do angiography angioplasty this is one last slide is that what is the because a lot of questions will come fatality rate in covid 19 patient this is a little old publication of february 24 lot of publication went when mr donald trump was here it's by chance and my birthday also so this was a publication in java journal of american medical association that if the patient is diabetic 7.3% mortality with patient with heart 10% mortality patient more than 80 14% 14% very high within 70 80 8% mortality overall they said 2.3% which is very high otherwise but overall i feel as of now in april and now in we are running may at least overall mortality is 5% this is my perspective if you take this to so 5% risk of death if you have covid 19 that is why social distancing physical distancing sanitization all these things have to be taken care of and you have to be really sure last slide which i wanted to share with you that the patients who are born Uh, my wife is a gynecologist and we have also one patient who was admitted here who was supposed to be covid 19 positive and she is now delivering what so the there are two things one is of course you have to be very careful with pp shield but whether the children born will be covid positive or not the study which has been done and the final discussion is that the, the, the children born will not be covid positive they will have antibodies inside and so you should not need to quarantine that child who is born in a pregnant mother or who is covid positive so this was my last slide and i will take the thank you very much for giving this opportunity and uh, so i i would like to tell you that we are doing regular webinars through our indo european course on revascularization this is established course for the people who are in europe and we have done courses in london paris amsterdam our next webinar will be on healthcare and pandemic and also in economy on monday i will share the link so that your more sharda people can join into the link and this was also facebook live thank you very much radhika ji thank you very much sharda university i don't know whether mr pk gupta or mr yaik yaik gupta could join this meeting or will send the video to him 
because this is a Sharda University and we've been associated. I'm sharing, stop sharing. And I think it was a little lengthy lecture, but I think you must have enjoyed. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Sir, thank you so much. On behalf of School of Dental Sciences, Sharda University, I am the Dean, Dr. M. Siddharth. We would like to thank you for taking out time and uh, explaining us to, uh, explaining to all the students and faculty members the latest health update on COVID-19. Thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure. And do, do you have some questions or no questions as of now? Yes, sir, we have some questions. Uh, so you can take up because I have to go to the rounds after 10 minutes. But we have 5-10 minutes we can because if the questions are there, it's important to answer them. Okay. Sir, Dean, sir, can I proceed, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah please, please, please. Okay. So one question is uh, from uh, Ashish Gupta. He says, why all COVID patients are admitted to hospitals? Can they not be treated at home and only hospitalized if that demands? That is a very good question. In fact, uh, considering that we have, uh, uh, the, as of now, the protocol is that COVID-19 patient, if they are positive, should be treated in the hospital. The reason is very simple that you don't know when they require hospitalization and when they become so sick that you don't get the bed also. I would tell you the Apollo Hospital has 81 beds which are reserved for COVID. 81. And we have a huge waiting list. I get at least 10 to 15 calls every day that that uh, please get the bed uh, for us because we don't find bed and we don't want to go to government hospitals so if the patient becomes sick overnight which is very likely and which is not i would not say very likely but it is not unlikely then to find a bed and isolation icu and then he will succumb to death at home number one secondly if you keep the patient at home he will not be that much whatever you do it is impossible to lock him in the room so he will surely infect his family members so one way in the hospital you are safe and secondly the hospital is more strict that he will be actually inside the inside the inside the one, one room only and which will be taken care by the nurses. So it's important. I think the, I will agree that this protocol is important that every COVID-19 patient should be hospitalized either in the government or in the private setup. So the next question is by uh, Parva. She says, can you please reshare the dosage for hydroquine? Yeah, this is very important. You see, only the guidelines is only for the people who are uh, actually uh, healthcare workers. But from my own mind, as I told you that I, I said that Angocha and Gamcha two weeks prior to what later on became a guideline by Honorable Prime Minister himself. My feeling is that those people who are working in the field, like policemen, and there are a lot of people who are working in the field, like uh, people, vegetable and all those people should also be given the hydroxychloroquine. It is not that toxic. People are fearing because there was a big discussion even on the Apollo consultant group. So finally, we came to conclusion the cardiotoxicity is only if the patient is heart patient, number one, and if ECG is abnormal. So the dosage is 400 milligram twice a day only for one day. HCQS, this is coming at HCQS, hydroxychloroquine. 400 mg twice a day only for one day and then 400 mg once a week for seven weeks. This is also approved by Indian Council of Medical Research not only for healthcare workers but also for the attendance of COVID-19 patients. But there the there's dosage is same but it is not for seven weeks, it is only for three weeks. So I personally feel that field workers and I have given this medicine, I would say I have no shame in saying that that lot of police workers who are my friend, so I I have told them to take it and they're taking it after doing an ECG. If ECG is normal and without any in prolonged QT interval, the dosage is so less that it's not going to be cardiotoxic. This is my personal cardiologist mind. And the next question is from Ritik. He says, is lockdown and social distancing the solution for COVID-19 treatment? According to you, when will we get into our normal lives? <laughs> It's a very simple, very difficult question to answer. Lockdown. Now, I feel that even the, those who have got married before 24, sorry, before February, they were more lucky. Even the marriages, people will go with the mask even for next year. You see, there is a huge scare. There is a huge scare. And the scare is also not wrong. It is a, it is an actual scare. So, I would say that uh, lockdown and social distancing is one way of preventing it. 
बिकॉज द वायरस स्टेज ऑन द हार्ड सर्फेस फॉर एटलीस्ट ट्वेल्व आवर्स स्टेज ऑन द सॉफ्ट सर्फेस फॉर फ्यू आवर्स इट स्टेज ऑन योर मोबाइल इट इज नॉट ओनली स्नीजिंग बट इट इज ऑल्सो थ्रू एयरबॉर्न इवन वाइल यू आर टॉकिंग डब्ल्यू एच ओ सेट डे बिफोर यूर स्टडी वन यू आर टॉकिंग यू गिविंग स्पीच द वायरस कैन कम आउट इफ यू आर इन्फेक्टेड and the most important thing is asymptomatic carrier this is one thing which i did not touch here in this i when i was talking on television various ways in march only i said in, when i was there on republic tv i said asymptomatic carrier is a big possibility even who did not say asymptomatic carrier what do you mean by asymptomatic carrier you get infected today for 5 days you not have fever now you are roaming around here and there without mask as it was there in, before march and you are going infecting everybody because you are not fever you have no cough and you have no dyspnea so asymptomatic carrier is a very big possibility now confirmed with corona virus so corona virus is infecting if you are infected you have fever you are infecting everybody if you are if you are don't fever if you are having infection you are infecting everybody so lockdown and social distancing it will become a norm for future this is something a big change of life and i personally feel when i i give you two more examples because this is a very good question when the lockdown was supposed to be removed on may 4 may 3 was the last guideline at that time i was in platinum lounge i felt that agar kal se lockdown khatam ho jayega the virus not going to go away this was my inner feeling i made a tweet i cannot show you here to honorable prime minister i am directly sending and also to the pmo that please in, that was i think on 30th april i made because it was four days later everybody was very positive that 4 may ko to sab kuch theek ho jayega true ho jayega I made a tweet on to 30th April that please improve this increase the lockdown for at least two weeks, couple of weeks. I read. Or next day there was a guideline from MHA that was first May that lockdown is increased for two weeks. Again I am saying that again I tweeted to PM about three days back before the PM PM speak. I would like that the lockdown should go on further. Although it is very bad for the poor people, I know it's very bad. But death is worse. The people are saying we'll die of hunger. We should be allowed to work. This is not true. then you are not only hunger but there are more deaths so i locked out so i made a tweet about four days back before the pm spoke that two more two weeks more so lockdown four is coming up soon after may 18th from monday it may be different something will go but lockdown is going to continue for long time if mr donald trump is thinking that everything should go economy is more important i would not agree with him that economy is important i understand but life is more important sabse achhi baat apne pradhan mantri ji ne kahi hai pradhan mantri ji ne kahi hai जान जान है तो जहान है तो यू हैव यू कैन किल योर पेशेंट जस्ट बिकॉज यू आर इंप्रूविंग योर इकोनॉमी लॉकडाउन एंड सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग विल कंटिन्यू एटलीस्ट दिसंबर दिसंबर इन सम वे और द अदर इफ समबडी इज ओपनिंग इट अप सो देन ओपन अप दे हैव मोर लाइफ्स मोर डेथ्स आई वाज टॉकिंग टू मिस्टर डॉक्टर फोस्टो पिंटो फ्रॉम पुर्तगाल दे सेड स्वीडन हैड टू बुमरेंग दे थॉट हर्ड इम्यूनिटी विल कम एंड दे ओपन एवरीथिंग एंड दे हैड अ वेरी ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ डेथ्स वेरी सून इन अ फ्यू नंबर टाइम corona is difficult we have to take care social distancing and this thing should continue for a little longer time i am not sure when we are going to be free of this uh, so the next question is is ivermectin really useful and should healthcare workers take it no 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 ivermectin is absolutely useful that's true but healthcare workers there is no guideline the reason is very simple i don't know why let me talk to icmr this drug drug is shown in vitro so be so effective it is 99% to 98% virus is killed within 48 hours but still no human trial so human trial has to be there before trying it but there is still a logic with whoever has asked this question there is still a logic the logic is if human vaccine is not so, so having so much side effect although there is no and it is being used it is fda approved medicine for a parasite for some parasitic agent it is fda approved is not a major side effect I think there is no harm in trying, but we have to have human trial. So as of now, I cannot go beyond the guidelines. But my personally, that the guidelines should come soon. If ivermectin, because you see, there is difference between hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. Ivermectin is a proven antivirus drug. Hydroxychloroquine is a proven anti-immune drug for specific work. But this has been found to be effective. I showed you the drug chart where it is effective. so what hydroxychloroquine will do it will reduce the virus load it will not prevent the infection while ivermectin can actually prevent the infection not prevent at least treat the infection if you get infected and if you take it prophylactically and if you are very much high risk 
हेल्थ केयर वर्कर देर इज अ पॉइंट इन द क्वेश्चन इट शुड बी केप्ट टू आई सी एम आर टू डिसाइड आई विल राइट एन ई मेल टूडे ओनली थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग दिस टू माई माइंड any and uh, so uh, any uh, comment on uh, uh, dental practice <laughs> i had a tooth pain few days back and i went to my dental department there was nobody <laughs> so uh, i feel that dental pain is so severe pain lot of people might not know there are only two severe pain one is dental pain another is liver pain severest of pains if somebody is suffering and there is no dentist how will you work this is difficult situation but i feel personally because your dental department is organizing this although i think the i was told that dental council of india has guidelines that you stop practice till the corona is there or till the huge scare is there or till there is no medicine so we are allowed uh, only non aerosol based what is the, what do you mean by non aerosol based uh, non aerosol based i mean we are not allowed to use our drills where the water is uh, that way you can't do the uh, the major what is that known as uh, uh, cavity cutting cavity cutting like road canal fillings we can't do uh, you can do dental extraction extraction is possible simple simple extraction is possible i think because of the scare you are right but with pp shield and all one can do it i think this is my feeling <laughs> because now we have good protect, uh, personal protection equipments and yes. uh, but of course uh, your uh, uh, this uh, uh, drilling and all is not an emergency procedure i suppose emergency is only dental extraction so no, drilling also sir certain cases we have to do with an abscess or if there is a root canal uh, uh, i think you should because this uh, this scare is not going to go on go away uh, we have to start this practice with pp for for example i was telling you that in the cath lab but in the cath lab an operation theater is different because you have the patient stays there again the problem will be you should not do covid 19 patient i am not talking of covid 19 but you stop doing for everybody if the covid 19 negative patient is there we should still do it although there can be asymptomatic carrier also but you have to be taking your own decision so we should we should do testing sir recommend testing yes sir this is very important don't touch a patient before doing a covid 19 this is a hospital Test. protocol okay sir if you have tested negative everybody is suspect unless proved otherwise Yeah. this is a this is a protocol but here again i will tell you in our my hospital so my people who are working in ccu i have admitted patient today and the attendant sitting with me by chance is my friend he is also listening so hospital protocol says first of all you have to be covid negative before hospitalization in case you are not covid negative you are not tested we will admit the patient but we'll keep the patient in medical icu we have reserved about 8 beds for the suspect patient where the whole staff is using pp kit and when the patient will turn out to be negative after doing the test we will shift the patient to the regular icu which is a coronary icu this is the protocol but of course cath run cath procedures will be done or any ot procedure will be done only when covid 19 is negative so if you are doing the testing of covid 19 in dental i think you should restart and give the message to dental council of india to allow to allow uh, this drilling procedure as well Okay, sir. thank you, thank you, sir. So, is what Mr. Sadat speaking? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, okay. Where are you from, sir? Sir, I am from uh, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. My mother is from. Bangalore. Yeah, but where where you graduated? I am from Manipal, sir. I finished from Manipal. Bangalore. Manipal, uh, Manipal campus, sir. Ah, sir, Manipal directly. Okay, okay. Good. Congratulations for organizing this webinar, and uh, we have thank you, thank learned you a so lot much. of things. It's a pleasure, sir. But every day we are learning. The problem is every day we are learning. I have to change my slides every day <laughs> yes, <laughs> because sir. of so many things coming up, new issues coming up. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. On behalf of school, any other question? Ah, uh, sir, I think. On behalf of School of Dental Sciences, I would once again like to uh, profoundly thank uh, Dr. Vivek Gupta for taking out time and uh, sharing with us his uh, insights on COVID-19. Thank you, sir. So uh, please, please share this video to your chairman because he knows me personally, a good friend for a long time. Both I, of them. I will. I will. Yeah. Share this video. Yes, they have not been part of it. We'll be busy. Then please share this video and tell yes, them. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank I you. I will do definitely. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Thank you. Sir. So much, sir. So we can end the meeting now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Radhika and Dr. Alankita. Thank, Thank you. you.